this is Fancy Esk and welcome to a book review video. Today we're going to be reviewing a Star Wars book and I'm really excited about it. So the book that I've chosen is Star Wars Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. If you guys would prefer a written review, I do have that up on my website. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can just read that instead. Of course, no spoilers so you guys don't have to worry about um, that, I guess, if you're looking for a book recommendation. And even if you're not a Star Wars fan, I think it'll be fine. Just go through it. If I don't recommend it in the end, don't watch it. See, some books I feel like I would recommend to fans and not to fans. Like, it, it just depends. But okay. So, we're gonna start off with what this book is about. This book follows Ahsoka. You guys might know her. She was slash is the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker, or was when he was a Jedi before he fell to the dark side. But, basically, it follows her on her journey, I think a couple of years after the Purge, which is Order 66 and the wiping out of the Jedi Order. But she ends up on a planet called Rada. It's a really tiny backwater planet, and she's basically trying to hide out, deal with the grief of being all alone in this big wide galaxy without any more Jedi left, and also being hunted if you are a Jedi and still alive. So she's going through all of that, trying to navigate her way around, and learning to live life without force powers and all of these cool abilities that she kind of had for a while. So kind of follows that, and then she gets involved in basically a little rebellion thing in the planet that she's living in and ends up trying to help the citizens against like the Empire's oppression. So there's that, that's basically the plot line. If you guys are into that type of adventure story, there we go, I guess that's kind of fun. Now I'm just going to go into what I thought was good about the book and what I thought was not so great about the book. So I'm going to make this super quick, but in terms of what was good, Ahsoka's character I really liked. So she was quite close, in my opinion, to what I remember of her in like the cartoons and stuff, the animation series and whatnot. So I was happy about that. And it was really just interesting to see the fact that she's not a kid anymore, she's a grown woman. Like, wow. That was exciting. So that was really cool to see. And even some instances of how she reasons with things, I guess, how that's different to how she was. I mean, if you know her character from beforehand, I think you guys will really, really enjoy that. Um, apart from that, I think that just the world... I mean, initially when she went into this world called Rada, I did find it very interesting. I thought it was... it reminded me a lot of the Old Republic games, if you have played that. It, I don't know, it's just a different landscape, it's more rural, countryside, seems fun. So it was all of that. And also, in between like uh, sections of the book, you've got these chapters, which are kind of grayed out. And they're not that like huge, they're like two, three pages long. But they're kind of flashbacks of, I think, instances in the Clone Wars. And some of them are from the perspective of Ahsoka, others are from the perspective of Obi-Wan or Anakin. And in my opinion, I would have just bought the book for those, because honestly, it's so worth it. Especially if you love the characters of Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're gonna love that, because it gives you insight into how they thought about certain things, even the relationship between the three characters reflected on in senten sentences here and there, especially if you love reading into stuff, which I do with everything. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. But... That's pretty much all the good stuff about the story. Essentially, setting to a certain extent and the characters. What wasn't so great about the story? Well, the plot, for one. So, even though an adventure story in this backwater planet and, you know, fighting with the citizens against the Empire, it sounds like a fun adventure, I don't feel as though it was executed that great. Towards the end, it actually picks up quite a bit, especially when the second antagonist comes in because they're just so much better than the first one and so much more threatening, which was great. And I loved the, you know, imminent death that everyone suddenly had, which I didn't get a sense of in the beginning. But um, I didn't, I wasn't too fond of the plot. Wasn't too f fond of the. I felt like they were trying to make it something that wasn't that serious. Serious, or I mean, I guess being hunted down and oppressed by the Empire is serious to an extent. But at the same time, if you're not gonna execute it well, I'm not gonna feel that as a reader. I'm just gonna be interested in this no longer Jedi and how she goes around doing things. But I'm not gonna care about the fact that the Empire is running this world because, as far as I'm concerned, that's interesting. But uh, yeah, we had that, and then towards the end it picks up, not only that, but the side characters, oh my goodness. The side characters, everyone. So frustrating. Like, do you ever just read something and you just think, why? Why? 
why? Yes, I was thinking that for almost all the side characters, I didn't care about them one bit. They could have died and I would have been happy. You know, the amount of idiotic decisions they make Ahsoka do or force Ahsoka into was very, very frustrating. But um, that's fine. That's fine because uh, we had the second antagonist to come in and I think that's also the thing it was very interesting to see the second antagonist at the end but he was again more uh, risky I guess like yeah he was more risky but he was more threatening there we go that's what I was looking for he was more threatening for all these side characters which are supposed to be people that we feel for and want protected especially because Ahsoka supposedly cares for them but I didn't give a crap. I was just excited that some of these people were going to die by the hand of this second antagonist because the second antagonist was so badass. That's basically what I felt about the book and I don't think there's anything else. There's pretty much two points. So if you're looking for like a, something that's good, like the good points of the book, essentially Ahsoka's character and an extent setting, if you're looking for bad points in the book, I guess it's even even. The bad points of the book would have to be um, the plot and all the side characters. Um, so yeah, would I recommend this book? Um, uh, not really. Don't. Don't get it. Don't buy it. Don't read it. Honestly. Even though those two back, like, flashback, back, flash? <laughs> flashback chapters are really good, I don't think you should invest your money in this book or that you should invest your time into this book because you have people like me to go through that for you and let you know what it basically was about and that it wasn't entirely that worth it because you could probably go to the same conclusions like without reading the book. So there we go, that's my suggestion and that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if, if you liked it or if you didn't or if that was helpful or if it wasn't. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.